this building is going to react to you being solo. It wants you alone. This seems to just be happening whenever it wants to. There is no antecedent. There is nothing that is kicking it into motion. It is literally just happening whenever it wants to. I'm supposed to not be mentally well. Uh, hi. Try and bring these people out of their world of fantasy into a world of reality. People have been scratched, punched, bit, hit. Blood streak here, you see? I promise you, the second you get down these stairs, you are going to feel a ton better. Wait, what? What's up guys, thank you for watching Franco TV. So today I made it to Iowa and I'm exploring a location, a haunted location known as Melvern Manor. This place was originally made to house the sick and especially for the mentally ill. However, ever since then, there's been many deaths in this location, leaving this place to be haunted. I will be exploring this location with you guys tonight. I'll have the whole place to myself. And apparently there's a third, second, and a first floor, obviously. But that being said, enough with the talking, and let's get right into it. Look at this place. Among the manor, the town itself is a literal ghost town. This is Melview Manor. Look at this place. This place is literally huge. This was the guy who built the place. I want to show you guys this area here. That is like this really long hallway. I was doing a video for TikTok and I got a creepy noise coming from this area here. Look at this. place is empty and I have it completely to myself this is one of the things that make this place was also stuck here and also people that just had mentally ill everything that you see here has been here for a really long time look at this wait what <laughs> i was not expecting that 
I don't know what this is about. No wonder why that was hidden. I'm going to put this back here because that's actually kind of... I don't know if I was supposed to see that. I'm pretty sure I was, but... Look at this. Again. I keep hearing random stuff out here. leaking and I touched it. Oh. I just heard something. Sounds like movement. I'm actually starting to sweat a lot. I'm not sure what it is that's making that sound. Josh? Alright, so if you don't know, Josh is the guy that owns this place and also maintains it. is the area where Josh was telling me that is known for a, a shadow spirit that walks continuously by here. I am going to be setting up a night vision camera right over here pointing down. This here is some of the artwork that uh, some of the patients here did. is beautiful. I've been around art a lot. And for those of you that know my mom does art so it kind of runs in the family. This is some of the medications that was given to the patients here. Or used to be medications. Med card, clock style green. What is it you're trying to do with your life? Play the piano for people. I'm not clear. Uh, how is it that playing the piano for people has eventually resulted in your being here in the hospital? I sit differently when I play the piano and when I'm away from the piano I occasionally look differently from other people. And this has caused dislike from people. Richard Clark. Oh, look. They even have the names of the patients. Clinton Brown. Ben Smith. Rick Clark. Look at all this. 
where they put the they put the medication in here and they'll put it in their mouth. Right now I am inside the room with I don't know if it's a haunted doll or the room is just haunted. Um, I think from what Josh was telling me that there is a spirit here that actually used to partake in this room. And so I'm going to ask questions using this. Can you tell me what your doll's name is? Uh, it sounds like it's... <coughs> did I say Beth? <coughs> How did you end up here, Beth? It's a beautiful doll. Beth is her name, right? How many people are here with me? Eight? Did you say eight spirits? Yeah. Hello? Hold on. So, I could hear something outside the room. But I'm not sure what that is. Hello? Josh? Hello? What the hell is that? I'm totally kind of freaking out right now. I just heard what sound like movement and a lot like a scream or a voice, but I don't know if that's outside the house or inside the house. Let's look. Did you want to say something? Hi. He just said hi. I'm hearing noises. Is that you? Please what? Hi. It sounds, it sounds like kids. Hello. They sound like they're saying hello. Hi. Yep, it's saying hi. So 
it's literally telling me it's it's literally telling me hi right now I just keep getting hi is there something you want me to know What's that? Hello? I keep feeling like I see something with the corner of my eye, but I, I don't see anything. What is it that you want me to know? I was just hearing noises outside the room. Was that you? It is. Hello? Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep it off for now. Thing is, I'm pretty sure this was off. But I'm not too sure. I don't know, I don't remember. I would have to see back in the footage if I even recorded it. Let's go for a walk with the spirit box. Right now, I have the spirit box here, and I'm gonna go ahead and use it while I'm walking around here. I heard people were saying hello. And I was wondering if you could say it again. Hello? I'm actually fucking terrified right now. Hello? I heard there was a shadow person or someone who likes to roam this area. Is that you? Is that something you like to do is roam around as a shadow? I'm going to have a night vision here. So I could watch you. Because I like to watch. <laughs> that sounds weird. But just so I could watch you. Or t Can you tell me your name? I just heard a noise. Was that you? Hello? Alright. I'm not going to lie. I am kind of terrified right now. Um...
I'm gonna turn the camera around so that way you guys can see what I see. In case I miss something. I keep hearing random noises, is that you? Yeah. That sounded like you said Frank. Is there, is there something you want me to know? Are you upset that... You saw like a, a face staring at you. I'm gonna come up here next. But first, I wanna check out these rooms. So, right now, there is an area here that Josh told me about where you can see blood stains. I tried to show you guys on the live stream the last time I was here. And, uh,. Yeah, that was a fail. <laughs> so hopefully I could do it this time. That's that wasn't there before. <laughs> That's creepy. Cool. But creepy. Right here, see? That is blood stains. He said he tested it and everything. So that right there is another blood mark. But don't worry, there's more. There's a lot more. And as they were still walking, that's there looks like blood scatter here. And they didn't wash it. Which I'm happy he didn't, because now I get to show you guys. But you can see it here. All over the place. Let's see if I use this light instead. Then over here, look at all that. Here's another blood streak here, you see? I almost touched it there. <laughs> this is really old, so you can see how it's not even red. It's almost black or red. See? Let's see if I can zoom into it so you guys can see it. Look at that. I'm wondering if there's anything... That will tell me more about this patient. Social progress notes. Did this, did they like not progress at all or something? I mean, I got, look. If you look right here, either that's part of the box, but it's coming out of the box. I don't know, it looks like a, I, I, to me, it looks like a head, but like very transparent. I don't know if 
people just brought things here to mourn or to like give tribute. Hi Susie, thank you for letting me color a page in your book from Minnesota to Susie. Hi Susie, Crystal says thank you for letting us visit. I just heard movement. I don't know if this is like a trigger object or what. This is are both my feet going down. We just got kind of, Alright. <laughs> that was creepy. Alright, so I don't know if that because I pressed it and I felt like it didn't go all the way, so I don't know if it just like fell on a hinge and now it just continued playing. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Thank you guys for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen. Sorry for the birds that you're hearing on the outside, but I have done my 24 challenge or 24 hour challenge and it's now daytime and I need to take a shower. This is the haunted Milvern Manor. And my God, this place was terrifying. But most importantly, I hoped you guys enjoyed it just as much. I wanna give a massive shout out to my friend Josh. Josh, 
You are amazing. And thank you for so much for giving me the opportunity to be able to film in your location. My God, had I known about this place, this will probably be my third time exploring this place. If you guys are in the area, please check out the Millbury Manor. It is in Iowa. I'm gonna put all the description down in the description below. Um, be sure to hit Josh up, tell him I sent you, show him the support, and let's get this place going because my God, this was one of the, my favorite locations that I have ever been to. So that being said, thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate you guys being here in this creepy adventure. If you guys haven't, please like and subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you, <laughs> I like doing that, on the next video. Bye guys. Hello, Kelly. Go away. Kelly, I'm not, I'm not a bad person. Okay. No, you're, you're, it's, I just. You're breathing on him. Just, I'm uh, just a little French boy, Kelly. Be nice. No. Come on. <laughs> what are you going to do to me, Kelly? Kill me? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Well, Frankie just died or something happened. Oh no, lovely Jess. Let's see if we can hear her screaming when she flies off the ship. Jeez, Frank. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it was. Filthy Ike se murió. I don't know what happened to him, pero. Oh, look at this. Uh, There's he's a, dead. It's a That's body laying brother, here, yeah? and nobody's reporting it. And Frank's looking at it, and nobody cares. You got to look at how Kelly we were arranged. Talks about Frank how bad, is the Kelly always talks about how bad he wants to kill his brother. He was I'm no, he saying. was he was the furthest one in the room. I was closest to the door cuz I just came in and I was like, "Oh, look listen, at that." Listen, listen, listen. If you want to kill me? It's okay. <laughs> and that's it. Really? Everybody killed Pablo Escobar. <laughs> Adiós. Oh. We later. <laughs> I go back to Colombia with my family. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>